Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today's code on the chopping block is P0062, which means your car's engine computer has detected a problem with the heater circuit for a specific oxygen sensor. Now, a faulty oxygen sensor can lead to rough idling, increased emissions, and even decreased fuel efficiency. So, let's jump in and see how to fix this P0062 code. Before we dive into the fix, let's understand what P0062 means. P stands for Powertrain Diagnostic Trouble Code, the universal language for car problems. 00, zero indicates it's an emissions-related issue. 62 narrows it down to a problem with the heated oxygen sensor HO2S heater control circuit on Bank 2 Sensor 3. Here are some signs to watch out for. Illuminated check engine light. Decreased fuel efficiency. Increased emissions. Rough idling. Reduced engine performance. Tools you'll need. Wrench set. Socket set depending on sensor location. Multimeter optional. For testing, replacement oxygen sensor consult your car's manual for the right part. Safety first. Always work on a cool car and park on a level surface. Disconnect the negative battery terminal for electrical safety. Before diving in, check for any loose or damaged wiring around the oxygen sensor. Look for exhaust leaks near the sensor as well, which can mess with readings. If the wiring seems okay, we can suspect a faulty sensor or a blown fuse. Consult your car's repair manual to locate the fuse for the oxygen sensor heater circuit and check it with a tester. Locating the sensor. Refer to your car's repair manual to find the exact location of bank to sensor 3. It's usually screwed into the exhaust pipe near the catalytic converter. Visual inspection. Once you find it, check the wiring harness for any damage or corrosion. Look for burnt or melted connectors. If the wiring seems okay, we can move on to the next step. Replacing the sensor. Use the appropriate wrench or socket to remove the faulty sensor. Be careful, it might be tight. Screw in the new sensor hand tight first, then tighten it with the wrench following the recommended torque specifications refer to the manual. Reconnect the wiring harness. Once you've replaced the sensor or fixed the wiring, use your OBDI scanner to clear the P0062 code. Then, test drive your car and see if the code comes back. If you're not comfortable replacing the sensor yourself or if the fix doesn't clear the code, don't hesitate to take your car to a trusted mechanic. They can diagnose the problem accurately and get your car running smoothly again. Thanks for joining me. I hope this video helped you understand and potentially fix the P0062 code. Remember, if things get too complex, a mechanic is always there to help. Leave a comment below if you have any questions, and don't forget to subscribe for more car repair tips.